What's up guys, how are you doing? My name is Raul Contreras, aka Duda, and today I will show you how to create a custom MIDI map inside Tractor Pro 2 that will allow you to, by using one knob, select an effect for your effects unit, but then at the same time with that same knob you'll be able to select the amount of dry and wet that you want for your effects unit. So to go right along with it, let's go ahead and let's open up Tractor. Guys, you know, do your work, don't be stupid working your sets, work in your transitions etc they'll always make you a great performer second thing that we're going to do is go to our preferences bar this is located in the upper right hand corner of the software and from there we're gonna go to our controller manager today I will be using my M audio trigger finger which it is not a MIDI controller that is directly set for tractor so the first thing that we need to do is create a MIDI controller so we're gonna go here generic MIDI in the input we're going to select USB trigger finger, output USB trigger finger, and we have officially created a new port for our M audio. The second thing that we're going to do after that is that we're going to create a modifier. So we add in, we go to modifier, create modifier number one, we learn, I'm going to create this button, there you go, then we're going to go into button, hold, we're going to leave this as global, and we're going to set our value to number one. Now we are about to go into our first step of this MIDI mapping. We go ahead again and add in, we go to our FX unit, we select the dry and wet adjust, we learn it to the knob that we want it to function, and done. Let me close this out. As you could see in my upper left, now if I move my physical knob in my MIDI controller, I could use, or I could move, the dry and wetness inside tractor. So what we're going to do now to be able to select the different kind of effects is go ahead and go into our generic MIDI one more time, add in another effects unit, but this time, I'm sorry, this time will be an effect one selector. We are going to select this under the exact same knob that we selected our first commander, but now we're going to put a modifier into it. So we go to modifier, modifier number one and set to value number one. We need to match this two up, the modifier that we are going to function this knob and the modifier that we just created. So over here be sure to select the right effects unit that you want and close it out. Now what would happen is as long as I am using this knob without pressing the modifier or the shift button you will be able to control your dry and wet as soon as I am pressing and holding the modifier, I am changing the effects inside the effects unit. Guys, this was a quick tutorial in how to create a custom MIDI mapping. Go ahead, go to your preferences, start looking into what you could do, and just start selecting different things. Start understanding the software. It is extremely powerful, and you guys could literally do endless things with it. So again, one more time, this was Duda. Hope you guys had fun, and go ahead and visit nativeinstruments.com. Have a good one. Bye.